So we finally made it to Cleveland County, North Carolina. We're on our way to meet David right now. Have you heard anything about it? Uh, not really. The only thing I've heard is Bigfoot is leaving like love letters or gifts to this lady. Yeah. And she contacted us to come investigate and get to the bottom of it. So it's going to be yeah. interesting. I don't know what we're going to find. I don't know what to expect really. I know. I think there's trail cam photos, the love letters, oh. uh, Bigfoot, Bigfoot mm -hmm. love letters. Uh, wow. This is going to be pretty interesting as we get closer to Cleveland County. And uh, there goes David right there. Yep. 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 So see ya. What exactly is this lady experiencing? A host of things, but they're seeing figures, okay? And they're hearing lots of different uh, calls and knocks and different things of that nature. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there's, you know, no one specific thing. I mean, it's a multitude. So, mm -hmm. uh, this has been going on for a long time. We've been trying to get out here for months. And uh, so, you know, we got everybody on the same schedule and here we are. I've already put so much stuff, like, I start getting rid of it because it just like a bunch of rocks. Yes. <laughs> um, these aren't even great ones. Early short ones. Um, is this normal? Like, no, yeah, that's not, yeah. that's not particularly okay. normal, no. Yeah, like things like that. Like a cane or a stick. Look how it's like bent. Like, like yeah. almost like wrapping paper, like the inside of a wrapping paper. Yeah. It's like how it's bent. Like a staff or cane. And I probably got rid of like this stuff with them. So this is all just showing up here. Yeah, yeah, the grip. And I had a big one. It looked like a mom Bigfoot holding like a baby and another baby. But then I tried to clean it so much that I messed it up. So See the stick that I have? Yeah, exactly. Look how it's bent. This is normal. Well, a, a vine did the bending. Okay, so I mean, the fact that the, the fact that the stick showed up is, is one thing. Yeah. That's that took a long time for the vine to wrap its way around and the tree to grow through the vine and all the, 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 the things. Mm -hmm. So one of the neat things is, is when that stick was broken or left, if the vine was still alive, it'd be hanging in tree. So something had to take it out of the vine. Okay. So that's that's my point on that. See? Oh yeah, yeah that's interesting. The notches in it. Mm -hmm. And they're all, all kind of like, are made to like sit up a certain way. Yeah. It's just neat how they're all just showing up at the yeah. house. And uh -huh. I found four things on trees too. There's like really? Right there they have, one looks like a Bigfoot base. Like really? Really high up, yeah. And it's detailed. And there's carvings like animals, like sea animals. <laughs> there's a lot of weird stuff. You always find like little white granite like everywhere. Like someone just cleaned it and placed it. So there's carvings in trees. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like way back there. Mm -hmm. So who else has we heard that before? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not the first time we've heard, you know, faces and trees. Really? So. Sitting out and it's like, we kept buying cans of drinks out in the woods. But none of them are opened. No. Yeah, but they're all empty. See, that one's got a tooth mark on it too. Yep, yep. And the other day, like, I was trying to introduce Jensen to the woods. Um, I told him to give them like three cans of Pepsi. And he put them out there, and then the next morning I checked them, and they were still sitting there, but all empty. And one mm. was like had the top cut, cut off. Like, I don't know how anything could do it. Like, it was like laser cut this? off. Just over here, they do it. When was this? Yeah, what, when was this? Just a couple weeks ago. Oh, wow. So, so it's fresh. Like tonight, and they'll do it. Like, yes. It's fine. Yes. Yeah. She brought the, she went got stupid truck camera. I know. I have little, like, I have these Roku ones. And then there's weird stuff on these, too. Have you picked up things off of that? Yeah, but it's hard to. Yeah. Like, describe it'll okay. be like weird things moving out here and it looks like it's just a camera issue but it's not because the patio never moves yeah so it's like stuff interesting the light or something. i first started noticing things during covid when i was staying home um i want to explore the woods a little bit more and learn about them and the more i explore the more i just saw how things were being changed in the woods found like tree structures and broken limbs like very high up they don't make any sense so start exploring um then start talking to my neighbor holly who knows more about this area and she said that she might think there's a bigfoot or a clan over here and the more we looked the more we found just different things that kind of point to maybe there is one time there was a bottle i think it was creek water and the bottled water was like tied to a branch down the driveway and it was very hard to get to so i know a human didn't do it because i got all torn up just trying to get to it um on the rocks are nice little gifts and i think they might give bones to the dogs because they'll come up from middle nowhere with a clean bone. One day I was at Holly's house and I was painting her um, like patio kind of 
and the next day it looked like a picture of like a ladder with someone standing on it like painting like right by the ladder yeah and I cleaned up the area so I know there weren't any rocks or there was any debris at all the next day it was right there I have a lot of pictures of things so yeah I'll be happy to show all that to you I know the land goes to the earth down through the woods down to a branch um, just this middle portion recently was sold off. That was my sister's. Um, and then I think my house is the third driveway up. So but, this is primarily y'all's property through here, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, one of y'all were mentioning um, before the interview started that they put stuff in trees. That was Felicia. Okay, so I've noticed this can up here in this tree. Oh, wow. Well. So it's just... This, while we're doing these interviews, I've already noticed there's just a random can up in a tree. Yeah. I mean, point out one more time. Right here, so there's cans. So, I know we're gonna get their interviews here in a little bit, but they are telling us that toys have been in trees, uh, bats, fake guns, and now look, and there's just a can in a tree. So yep, I right there. Out earlier this week, or last week, because I, I look for morels, I'm a yeah. mushroom hunter. And, I love uh, morels. Mm, so I started going out looking, and behind the house, about 30 feet in or so, I found one of my big Italian clay pots just out in the woods. Yes. And I was like, I was looking for that last summer. I couldn't find it. I thought somebody had, I don't know yeah. why they'd steal my clay pot. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but, yeah, and it's still in good shape. Oh, that's good. So, now I've got goosebumps on goosebumps on goosebumps here. I'm feeling because it because I'm, I'm breaking this, out too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is not... This, it's not been opened. Yeah. Oh, wow. But it has been drank. And look what it's full of. Oh, wow. Bigfoot Whoa. shotgun of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This one's not open either. That's that Coke, is isn't it? I'm, I'm going to get it down. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove my theory. No, no, no. no. I don't want to ruin it. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll, hey. I'll get it. I'll need like a poly kit up. I got to get it. I got to get my, uh, wow. Can is not open and access at the top. Nothing Almost in the bottom. Good. Just a little hole right there. Like a nail. Look at that, how it's, you see that? Yeah. That kind of may have a long nail and punch through it. Called it. That's interesting. Pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. But that up there is cool. That's the nail dial too. Yeah. Yep. And then look at the perfect canopy out here. Like, I know we're getting ahead of ourselves. We got a couple. But it, I mean, it looks big, but there's, there's, there's a lot of them. I, mean, I hate right to throw there. this back down. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Right there. Yeah. I'm gonna stop this. Okay. Yeah. Not opened. Yep. With David standing there, so wow. see. Bit. It tried to, and it just said, I'm going to go through the side. That looks yeah. like a whole big bite mark. Yeah. A teeth, like a tooth, like a long tooth. Fang. Yeah. Wow. That was at least a good, what, we... six, seven foot ahead of, above your head? Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Above your head. Oh, well, it was I, two of you. That's at that's at least a 10 to, to 11 foot level. Yeah. At least, I mean, there's no way I could have got up there because it was stuck in between those branches. Show that. And this is 6'2-ish right here. This is over seven foot right here. Okay, there's another three feet up there. So that's at least 10 feet off of the ground. So. <sighs> Oh my God! Oh, did you see it? Down in there. Did no? Did you see it? What? Did you see it? What are we are we talking about right here or right in front of us? <laughs> I've been looking. I've been looking. I don't know what we're. See, I've done no research on what to find out here. Felicia, I know has dug heavy There's into that. Major uh -huh. arch. Yeah. I mean. Oh, that arch there. Yeah. I mean, I it's, it's been that. over. It's nice, yeah, it's been over just back. left to right, isn't it? Yes. Yep. My gosh. I'm gonna throw this down. Okay. I mean, we'll have right to. there. Yeah. I mean, those those Let's have see. not been touched. Those those have not been opened. Somebody has bit those cans. So there's number yep, one right through there. in the books. Good Lord. Come on, Hillary. Now growing up, my dad would always tell stories about. Not being in the woods after dark because of tree knocks, mm -hmm. and that he experiences as a as a child, as a teenager, and just keeping pace. You know, he sometimes would reference um, Yahoo's, which I had no idea that that was the same idea as the you know the Sasquatch or Bigfoot, but um, or 
you know, this land's been through a lot of transition. And, um, and it's just interesting because we've heard things growing up and all, but, you know, always could kind of say, oh, it's just somebody hammering on something at the barn, you know, one of the local barns or something, but I don't know. Hello, I'm Holly uh, Kana. Um, out in the Cleveland, North Carolina area, very, very rural area. We have grown up on this land since um, the 1700s, our family. There are stories that have kind of filtered through over the years. As a kid, I was interested in things, fairly sensitive to things, um, but um, I guess in the 70s and 80s, you, you know, those ideas were not really looked well upon. So those pieces were just kind of shut down. In my early 50s now, yeah, let's see, 46. So the year 2019, I had a major medical, put me out of commission for a year. Um, during that time, I had to face my mortality, had near-death experience, essentially, and had profound experience with that. And after that, I was up north for all my treatment and medical um, management, come back here to family homestead and um, within six months I was sleeping it was February leaves were down off the trees got up in the middle of the night went back to bed I was lying there I have a large west southwest facing window from the bedroom and I could see a, a bright orange light really bright we grew up on a, close to 100 acres and my brother's on one end and I'm on the other end so I was thinking maybe he had put up like a really bright night light or street light for some reason. And then I noticed it was traveling closer to the house. Um, and then the next thing I thought, why is there a helicopter out here in the middle of the night? What's happened? You know, is there somebody out on the loose or, you know, med, you know the Medi flights from one of the local hospitals? I don't know. Um, so I just sat there and I watched it and then it got closer and closer. And then I started watching it. It's, it looked like a, a basketball, but then it turned like a darker orange. It was very orange, yellowish in the center, and it starts pulsating just like this, bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? So my phone was on the opposite side of the bedroom charging. So I jumped up, go get the phone so I can start recording, get to the window, it's gone. So I kind of perplexed with that, stayed in the back of my mind, really didn't discuss that with many. I was getting mail probably 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, and I heard a sound I've never heard before. Um, now I've camped and backpacked, often solo, sometimes in small groups, all up and down the East Coast, a little bit out West. Um, never in my life had experienced that sound before or call from an animal. I had no idea what to relate it to. All I knew was it was super loud and it literally shook my core, like all my cells were shaken. And I'm usually not uncomfortable outside, but I felt a little bit of discomfort. <laughs> so I walked a little faster to the house that night. Um, so I come back in and I start researching animal calls, you know, and I even listened to like the elk calls, you know, in case one had, you know, come down from the Smokies or something, you know, um, but still not that loud. And the interesting thing, my youngest, who was 17 at the time, plugged into her, she loves this um, European, Northern European, metal right <laughs> plugged in outside she felt and heard the similar thing that i did and i had not even really related my story to her you know she come in that was about seven o'clock in the morning maybe 6 30 it was it was light out um and then she was done with outside but um but during that time frame right before i heard whatever i heard out there i noticed something i had called back here to my brother's house because i have two cats they have a little cat door they can go in and out whenever they want to they would not go outside for two weeks at all, you know. Um, so I called back here, said, are your animals acting weird? Cause my cats will not go outside. And, and I'm just kind of confused cause I haven't seen anything or heard anything. Sometimes we'll get wild boar come through. Um, but uh, they said, well, yeah, their cats aren't going outside. Won't even sit in the windows. And, but the dogs are back and forth. And they said, you know, it's strange cause the dogs will come back in and they'll have like a stripe that look like clay or mud just like here or here. So after I heard what I heard, um, I had a uh, conference upstate New York. And so I never really entertained the idea of Sasquatch or much of anything. You know, I just kept it in the back of my mind. But when I started coming back in, I researched those animal calls. I couldn't find anything that might be regional to the area. 
but the Sierra sound somehow popped into my feed and I listened to those and I was like, oh wow, bingo, <laughs> that's what I heard. Crazy, ain't it? Freaking wild. There's gonna be definitely squatchy area. Look how open it is through here. I know. I get it. They've cleared stuff out, but you can definitely still Let's still see. see squatchy stuff because through the woods back there where they haven't got yet, like right mm -hmm. in this area, there's X's back through there. But you can always tell the difference between man and Bigfoot yeah. activity. So. And we just got started. We got more interviews to do. Yep. <laughs> blow my mind yeah i have a question so obviously there's been some trees cut right no my brother's been working with somebody on some trees so i'm not sure what the you know he can go in on that oh i see yeah all right but but, but see them but my thing about it is is okay great those trees were cut no i mean no big deal it ain't like they were top guys they've been cut from her level look okay yeah so how did this tree get from 45 feet up, 50 feet up, how did it get bent into the brush of shrub trees? Oh, I like they're not tall enough to pull it down. Well, they don't have to be tall enough. They can climb up and go, wee! You ain't ever bungeed off of a tree? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the one with the grapevines growing up, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we would we would climb up saplings like this and get way up the top yeah. and get off the, you know, and just jump and it would go, wee, and you you would go down pretty easy and then you'd stop and you'd get done and the tree would be bent. So, I mean. Gotcha. I was thinking the under the brush, was it, when it was cut, was it big enough to pull that? Oh yeah, there's no way yeah. they could pull yeah. that. that. That brush is not big enough to pull that tree down. Well, you can see a difference right there between those and then this one. How it's much higher. There's nothing up there that can interfere with it. What'd you find, Taylor? Uh, I'm just looking to get close. That's just dog prints in there. This is a great spot for footprints if there's any. Yep. <laughs> Marshy mud. <laughs> Ain't me. Ain't me. I love the clear it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. What you thinking? You know the vibe we get sometimes when we go to new areas. It's like this is Bigfoot, squatchy land. I got a vibe. This it's is unreal. yeah, this is a vibe. Um, to what you was talking about earlier, I know what you're talking about. Where, and I'm getting the same type of vibe here from what she has said so far. So, there's twice on cameras. Once we chased an orb and never could get up to it. Mm -hmm. As close as we got, it would always be the same distance away. Yeah. And then we had the flaming orbs or whatever they were across the river that wouldn't, you know, you know. And I mean, it's just, it's unreal because she said it got and it undulated. Yeah. And I'm going, I didn't put none of that in her brain. I mean, I've not... I've not talked to them about anything. And that's the best way to do it. When you so, start. I mean, we've come in pretty much blind other than the fact that we know that they're having activity of some sort that they're trying to get help identifying. So, wow. The first thing I can tell you guys is the energy. You can feel it here, okay? And I've already asked the property owners how far their property goes, this side, that side. They own very little over here. The energy is coming from behind the camera, guys. When I was standing there earlier, it's just, it's eating you up. We went into the woods just to, we were filming a, a quick story. The first thing we found was not one, but two pieces of evidence of activity of what we believe could be a Sasquatch right here on this property. We can't wait. My name is Jensen, and I would, I would like to tell some of my stories in this Florida State area. And I possibly, I could believe there was a Bigfoot or something that's like related to it. Not, it couldn't be Bigfoot in particular. Maybe like a spiritual being, I don't really know. But I got some stories to tell. Sometimes I was like come out the house, like some of my wiffle ball 
like bats, they'll be like up in the trees, and I don't remember at all. Because, um, like the day before, I'll just like use it, just like, you know, hit some like balls, and I'll just like place it on the ground, and I'll like come outside the next day, they'll be up in the tree. I remember while I was outside with my stepmom once, and we were just like exploring the woods, just seeing what's like happening. There are some trees that are like in real structures, like folded, like they look like they're huts, but like bell, like black bells, deal, they couldn't do that. It had to be something bigger. Um, yeah, then also we, we were outside. There was like noises from the trees. Dogs were going crazy. It was just weird. Yep, there's a mound. Don't know where, why, what. But when I stepped on it, I didn't feel good at all. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm nauseous on my stomach after doing it. I wish I hadn't stepped on it. Yeah, I was just walking to the creek, so. How do you feel right now? I'm, I'm anxious. I can feel the, 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 I got nervous energy right now. I do too. And there's no reason for it other than the fact that, I mean, I didn't have it until I stepped on this. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I'm gonna step around it. Dogs like to come down So when it gets dark, you pinpoint any areas you want to go check out. I don't know this way, but I mean, it, it doesn't feel good down there at all. I mean, it's 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 broad daylight and it's so dark back down in there. Maybe a movie, but it might be a uh, fact too. I love that movie. Uh -huh. I love that movie. Okay. Get back up here. Like sprints. All sizes are put in there. It doesn't make any sense. Um, we had one guy come and he was cutting cedar trees, but more over there. That so, was it. So what? So, so there's a story about coming before the time to see finally cut the cedar trees. For money. I mean, that's the makes sense out of it. Gotcha. That's it. Yeah. So the cedar trees are cutting are not huge lengths and are not no, they're, like, you're not following them, you know. There's no they're, they're cedar tree like no. this is not gonna reach over and grab another sapling yeah. that's forty feet tall and no. pull it over and wind it in the yeah. That's what we're finding over there. It's really incredible. Mm -hmm. So there's giant trees like behind the house. Like and there some of them are moved and there's I mean there's no way. Yeah. Like some of them I came in like push the logs like they're so heavy. <clears throat> gotcha. Is there a certain like area in each direction or landmark to tell us where your property ends so we don't press fast. You would think so. No, not okay. really. So, um, but uh, it's all like family. So, so yeah, nobody's going to get man called off. They see us around with lights or anything like that. So, you know. so far, we've already found a can in the tree. We've already found structures. We've already found, I've looked and seen little rock formations and uh, pretty crazy. We've already met the nice people here and we've listened to their stories so far and there's a lot of keywords they've said that we have experienced or know about in our previous adventures and now it's all coming to fruition here and it's pretty interesting because it's a mixture of Bigfoot and paranormal which we started to dwell into a lot and what's interesting is there's a lot of signs sitting around here in the driveway it's gonna be interesting as the night goes on to what we can find yeah, just the whole butt end bit off of that can. Look at this. We're coming. Old... 
But like here, you can see like canine teeth. Mm -hmm. it is, like what's crazy is this was this, in a tree. This was just over there laying. Like oh. it's still fastened, but the whole butt end just bit off. And then there's the hole punctures in it. Yeah, the teeth. Like yeah, I don't know something neat. That was like what was up in the tree. Yeah, like yeah. Hmm. So where's that, David? So what we're fixing to look at is a picture she showed us earlier. She is in this room of the house right here. And she took a picture out this window right through here. And you can mark everything because of the canoe. And you'll be able to look at the canoe and everything in the woods. Everything is the same. But yet, what shows up in the photo is no longer there in the woods. And this is only a week or so ago, so it's not been enough growth or anything to change dramatically be in springtime that's going to alter the photo. David, mm -hmm. okay, can, I, can you explain what's in here now? So this is my point of view from looking out my bathroom window, getting ready in the morning for work. And I just noticed this dark spot there that's not usually there. That's, right. Oh, yes. Yep. It's right there. And there's even like something there, maybe in there. But I'll try to get oh, it. Oh, wow. Can you go back to that one? Mm-hmm. You yep, can see what's in a one. face, hang Yeah. On. Yep, 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 nope. Okay, I mean, right yeah, there. But, Lee, don't, don't touch. Okay. Yep, okay, yeah, right there, perfect. Mm -hmm. Point it out. Yeah, if you want. Right yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, yep. and then when that's I left the for picture work, we're going to need. And then, it was taken right through here? Right through yeah. here. And you can still see everything because you've got the canoe, the same vantage point of the woods. Everything is identical as it was in the picture. So... So we'll be able to, you know, I mean, it's, it's really easy to do. Yeah. This is, did you just hear that? Something. The loop. Yeah. Woo! It is recording, right? Okay. Woo! So this is what we came for. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The coyotes get cranked up just after dark. That's good. Both sides, all around, and out. I heard again. Let's look into that window. Yeah. Oh, right there on the right. Oh my God! It's, it'd be just beyond the. Uh, and it's not there in real right. life. In real time, it's there. Right. It's not here in real life. That's when I got done getting ready to go to work. Like I went over here and there was no dark. This was taken off that camera up there. Out of this room. Out of that room. Out of the window. Her phone. Out okay. The window. Now is that a bathroom? Yeah. Did it, what did it do after you took the picture? The lights on. It's staying until I got out. Until it's just sitting there watching her. Yeah. Okay. And that would be the light on. Oh, curious. we got a video. Oh. Kind of. But with, with the screen, you can't. It's hard to. You know. Because it showed the screen more. I now. Can you play it one more time, please? Mm -hmm. It looks like at the very end, its head kind of bobs down. Oh, it might. Oh. Like at the very end of this. You're like right here. It mm -hmm. looks like it bobs down a little bit. Yeah. 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 And it's not there's, there now. No, mm -hmm. and there's, there's something standing like. I'm gonna I want to get into vantage point of where y'all think. I was thinking the same thing. Go ahead. Oh, like, you're going right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep. Yeah. Gotta go to your left just yeah, a little. Go in. Yeah, that way. Right about there. Right in there. That'd be about right, wouldn't it? Off the point of mm -hmm. the picture's not there. It looks like it'd be like just a little more lower to our left. Yeah. Like right in there. You're right, it's the same area, but. Yeah, so uh, Taylor, this way. Just keep going straight over. Right in there. Perfect. Right there. Right there. Go back to the right. To the right. Right there. Yeah. That's where it's at. Can you see him on camera? Yeah. Like she's up there. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, let's go. Is he going to be that side up little sprig or can it go? It looks like it's hunched down. Yeah. Do what? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got you. Hold on. Let me focus this real quick. But yeah. Yep. Right through there. Hey, on, Taylor. I'm coming to you. Yeah, you're in the right, the exact vantage point of that image. What? You can see her 
her bathroom perfectly right. So she's up in the morning time. She's getting ready. The only light on this side of the house that you'll be able to see perfectly right through here. I don't know how big I am compared to that figure in that video, but look. Perfect trail. Stuff stomped out right here. Oh, yeah. Right off mm. in the woods. Like an old beehive in there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like right there. Was I compared point. to the size at all to it? You no, actually were. About two foot. Yep. Shorter? Uh-huh. I, I mean, foot and a half. Yeah. I mean, it was about just a little bit shorter. Uh-huh. And a little bit wider, bigger, yeah. like bigger, See, bigger, and, especially and, head wise. Yeah. Whatever we're looking at, whether it's shoulders or head, yeah, it's wider than what the upper part yeah. of you are. See, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's wild. <laughs> that's good. That's wild. That's <laughs> that's great. I can smell it. I Looking right there. Through. Look at this. To her bathroom. Mm -hmm. What's this, Tate? Can't see. Rock. It's a random rock. Yep. Brought this place right there randomly and there's sticks sticking up. Yeah. Hmm. That's crazy because right there is perfect of what that could be. This is good. This is good. This is good. Right here's where we need to do some knocks. Yeah, we need to do some knocks here. Watch that, Toby. Oh. Yeah. Ah, tree break. Good eye, Toby. Keep our eyes peeled. What else is around here? We keep looking. Keep looking. There's definitely some. You got the rock, you got the stuff smashed out. Perfectly looking down. So here's the view of it. What it was getting. Yeah. Right through there. It's right at her bedroom, or the bathroom. Like and it, everything it glitches, blurs, except yeah. Except for the patio, like the porch. Like, and then it's done. Now that's weird. It is. See? Look at that. Because we've never oh. seen the cameras See? glitch like that. that. It's like it's melting the screen. But the porch is still fine. Yeah. Like it does that. And then it moves. And then you can wow. see it like moving yeah. more. It's like, see? Yeah. yeah. Those black dots. See? Yeah, right there. And you can still see the porch, so it's not a camera yeah. issue. That's weird. That's really weird. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Oh, that's weird. That's how it glitches like. The glitch is weird. I've never yeah. seen that before with any type of activity. That's weird. I don't know if you want you yeah, to just watch that's down here. I don't think I went back far enough. Oh wait a second. property and I'll be honest with our viewers you know you, you can't show up somewhere and go oh my god it's Bigfoot it's Bigfoot it's Bigfoot you know, everything's not Bigfoot things happen natural in nature when you can no longer explain the natural phenomenon of what we're experiencing here just lot, limit the time we've been on the property you have to then start using okay what are we dealing with clearly something was over here not more than a few weeks ago looking at this house with her in it okay we'll show you that picture that is that's going to be a fact so we're seeing a lot of things and one thing this is going to be very interesting because you've already pointed it out once over there but you'll see right here she's okay trees fall things happen everything's good blah 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 all right well here you go there's these two perfectly laying right here and she's right there's one laying over top of it there's some limbs and stuff. Limb trees fall, dead limbs fall. That's great. But this appears to be placed here for a reason. And what adds to the, the complexity of that is when she starts pointing out the rocks. She said there was a third rock here that made a triangle around the little indention of the hole in the ground. And you know, that's, you know, obviously that's just a small hole. I'm not, not really putting a lot on the hole. But what does this mean? What are they trying to tell us? What significance does the, the triangular rock, you know, what does that bring to the table? Now, <clears throat> have your minds get ready to be blown, all of the above, yada, 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 yada. So they have a friend uh, that are, is down here cutting some timber. And by timber, I mean just simply cedar trees. They're cutting the trunks off to use to make 
whether it's furniture, clocks, ornamental furniture, things of that nature out of, that's it, okay? So I've been asking some pointed questions about why the trees are where they are. He's cutting them and failing or following them on the property. They're coming back and where the leftover shrubs and brush is at is no longer there. It's being moved somewhere else. It's being placed. It's up in trees where it was. It, it's not where it fell. So, so now I'm going, it's starting to make a little more sense because I'm thinking how big were these trees they're cutting down because they can't. How did this get caught up in a tree? Why is it? I mean, it doesn't make sense to where the, these things have fallen, why they would come to rest there. So, quick question right there. Quick answer. That one right there, and then that one on top. They're all, they're both bent and pointing that way. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. So, these trees are put together. So, that, that tells me that the one way up is very intriguing that one we're used to seeing and that's an old one but it's just telling me for a very long time we believe they're markers mm -hmm. and by that if the limbs pointed that way that means that's your side right. anything on this side they don't want you over here there's a reason for that what that reason is we couldn't tell you we experience this on our hunt sites that, that we hunt all the time and we'll get new ones because we're everywhere, we're like, you know. But now we've been there so long, we've been doing it so long, I really believe we have a more comfort level with them. Y'all are family, you've been here since you, you grew up here mm -hmm. and your children, I'm sure the comfort level is, is, is good also. Mm -hmm. And it may be the reason that you've experienced more in the last several years, as, especially as things start getting turned on in your mind that you allow yourself to be exposed to. Looks like what could be part of a yeah. two-piece structure right here. It's just going up. All of them just leaned up right here. Bam, 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 bam. Hey. And then you see another bend out there that you saw a while ago. It's good because they got protection from these dogs. With the dogs. Oh, yeah. Hear that? Sounds like a swing. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. Mm -hmm. right, just something what cool. you thinking? I mean, how you feel? I feel good. I'm just ready for like get to the calls, get to the knocks. All right. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. The normal. Oh, look, something's been digging at it right here. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're right. Yeah. We walked right underneath the portal, too. Well, hard to Yep, right there. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's squatchy. Um, I'm just ready for the sun to go down and try to investigate. A lot of, I've heard a lot of booms since we've been here. And then look, when you look through here, this doesn't look like our terrain we're used to. No, this is like flat. Location. Yeah, it's flat and there's those tiny trees are just all evenly placed. Yeah. We can see through and you see objects break the light when they move through. So yeah. it's, it's very cool to be in this type of environment. Oh, Taylor. Oh, perfect. Yep. Up back in there. I see. Good eye. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yep. X's. They're just all through here. Like, see, when you come to this side, they're parallel and there's gaps. Yeah. But when you look from that side, yeah, they're all X's pointing this way, which means, yeah, what's it normally mean, Taylor? Yeah, 
Don't X marks the spot. Look at that. Perfect. That's crazy. Good eye. That's 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 a good stuff. Yeah. That's a good stuff. Up in the tree. There she goes. So what's, so, so what is so interesting with the dog? There's always something in there. Interesting. So, Very interesting. Like to reinvestigate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wow. So what if some things have like, you know, like you can see the dirt around them. It's not covered by leaves, like, like wet dirt. That what you want, girl? It's a boy. That oh, boy. Excuse a, me. <laughs> that, this, this tree has had some kind of disease that's yeah, been going on for a while. Yeah, it's a lot. See, this tree's disease also, but I mean... Like this, it's like... This just fell perfectly. I'm okay. sick. Okay. The closer you get in here, uh -huh. the more energy you... I mean, it don't feel good. Mm -hmm. Now, clearly it's got the dog going all kinds of ways of crazy, but why? I tried to do it. I got dizzy. I'm trying to step over this log. Oh, yeah. weird, but I'm telling you, none of this feels good. So, whenever we were walking through, normally a human, if they break something, they're just gonna break it, break it off, throw it, right? So here's something cool with a type of big foot stuff. This is an old break, but it's a mark. But you see what it's done? Twisted. Yeah, so mm -hmm. Bigfoot, when they break stuff, they seem to like twist it. Okay. They'll twist it off. So that's one of the ones that could be. Like they're twist. just walking and just yeah. putting yeah, it out of the way. Like if a human's going to do it, we're just going to break and like break it, go on the way. But they, it seems like they break and twist. The dog is picking up on something. Mm. Yeah. And this is like tucked under this branch. The tuckness and all that. It's just stuff to look for that people And that was wasted. Small tucks. Yeah, those dogs are picking up on something crazy. And you notice how wide the paths are through here? So we're, we're walking back to the new part of the property that y'all just came from. And I pointed out all the, the, the directional limbs that are laying on the ground. Yeah. They're all falling or they're, they're being, look like they're being placed in one direction. I mean, that's just, you don't see that. That's not normal for them to all be so symmetrically perfect. Okay. And it's like, yeah, I see what you're saying. Perfectly in the line. It's, they're all in a line. It's like they're just dragging them and stop them, drop them. And then we're on top of them. <laughs> yep. So we've seen this a few times already as we're walking through. There's just trees like this, conveniently placed like that in an X formation. X marks the spot, we believe. Is it territorial? Could be. Could it be coincidence? It could be also, but it's always stuff that you're looking at when you're scouting areas like this for Bigfoot activity. But there's the X right behind it. You see this? tree splinter break to point down this direction. Now, let's add up the two factors here. This is broken off this way, barricading this walkway, and you got an X formation right behind it. Does that mean for the Sasquatch stay out? Possibly. And guess what? We're going in that direction. So let's see what happens. What's up? So, this, some of this she stayed just because they were taken. Something had been removing stuff. So she put it there and she throwed some change out, you know, just to, you know, if I'm walking, if, if I'm walking and I see the change, I'm picking it up, putting it in my pocket, mm -hmm. all right? I'm not stupid, okay? Mm -hmm. It's it's money. Uh, but, you know, obviously nobody's taken anything of, you know, the value, if you will. Um, and she doesn't believe she put these rocks here. Um, and we're trying to figure out what this is and where it would have come from. Um, you know, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, this is obviously quartz right here. There's, okay, no, yeah, there's, there's no doubt that that's not quartz, but, uh, so just trying to understand you know, what was going on here. So all of the place right there? Yeah, but now. I put the money, I put this the, up the here. Money, yeah, yeah, the money, the stuff, but, the quartz rocks yeah. and everything? No. She don't know how that got here. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'll find change everywhere. Like in my car, I don't use change. And like yeah. it just appears everywhere. So I thought maybe they would like it. So you've made your own gift inside. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Tread lightly. Oh, and look, what, look what's here. An X. Yeah. <laughs> and this is kind of interesting. It's like standing up and then curved into there. 
Oh yeah. Bam! Come here and look right here, David. Okay. Take so here is the gifting site and then bam. Time of year again, spider web. Right here at the gifting site. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. They do the staggers. Yeah. yeah they're like they're a different, different angle, different level. Yeah. 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 Different angles. It's pretty neat. Yeah, that is a major one. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah. A lot to digest. Yes. It's 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 almost, you know, it's gonna have time to breathe. Yeah. Where's it at? I don't see it. Literally just this big patch of... Oh, right through there? Yeah. Yeah. The only patch of grass in this whole place. Tread lightly. Yep. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Well, we know about there's fairies. There's a lot of lore behind this stuff, so... Yeah. Yeah. Think about the one area we know about fairies at. Yeah. Uh, yes. I am Groot. <laughs> Look at you. Look at I am Groot. It's Groot. You found Groot. It's Groot. That is wild. That big. That is a big old circle. Yeah, just a grass. Yeah, that's wild ant. Yeah, that's a good catch. That's a good catch. They would come pull the lines up and uh -huh. they would drape it around their fireplaces and around right. the doors for right. Christmas. Yeah, I remember so. that. And I've read it. And is it endangered at this point? Now that I couldn't tell you okay. if it is, I didn't do that. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just give our thanks back to the land. Yes, yes. So, um, I think we can make two There's a trail like right through here and it leads you perfectly under an archway. Uh, there's another archway right here, but it's more of a TP structure. But it's just arches like I don't know it's pretty strange it's interesting yeah there you go. they look like we've got something that could be squat through uh, okay. got here, just straight up through here but that's where all going spider webs everywhere yep Yeah. Oh. I'm sitting here waving it and still walk in the water. <laughs> we just broke up. We just walked, we have to walk under so many arches through these woods. For a thief for a fail. It looks like that it got caught in other trees. This one going this way and this one here. And if you look out there, there's another one. Yep, out there there. These look like they've been pushed over because yeah. if you look at the roots, just it takes it everywhere. And they have. And when you pick up, like picking up on this one, it's still hard in the ground. Mm -hmm. It's wild. It's almost like that something just forcefully bulldozed okay. it over. And this one the same way. Mm -hmm. If it was the wind, it wouldn't have blew one one direction and one another. It's like mm -hmm. it was more or less just pushed mm -hmm. everywhere in these woods. They are. They really are. Yeah, like How far back can we go? I think as far as we want. Really. She said it's family land and been here since the seventeen hundreds. Yeah, they've been here since the beginning. Really? Yeah. Is there any old home places on? There was, it was down there, but it's gone now. She said there was a cabin the lady was telling me. Oh cabin. really? Oh man. So the little That's boy cool. he's got wiffle ball bats, he'll be playing with, come back, they're up in trees. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. It's pretty neat. Look at that one right here where it's tucked under. Yeah. Yep. Where it's tucked under that, right here. Yeah, like but a tree doesn't do that. It bends over and goes under, does it? Yeah, I mean, it went through this, but if yeah. you look out here, it's the same thing as here. And they're all leaning like the same way. Oh, yeah. 
where it broke. Where it broke the root ball. Yeah. Where it pushed it and ripped. You hear that? I did. It's behind Toby. Yep. Here come the dogs. Mm -hmm. It's just. I don't understand people say, well, that's a dead tree. Okay. But when it fell over, that was torn. Mm -hmm. So you still had good structure there holding it. So what tore it? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And if you look, it's like something come through here and pushed here, pushed that one, pushed the other one, and went out there and pushed those. Because they're all still in the ground. Yep. And then right beside it, it looks like they just kind of knocked that one out of the way. Yeah. I mean, literally just knocked it over and it leaned on that tree. It's weird. This is the only tip of the iceberg, man. There's a lot more. That's I mean, what I'm saying. It's yeah. A lot. It's a good place. Good place for activity. I guess we'll find out tonight. Yeah, it's so much. It's just, you know, usually we'll see twist, break, mm -hmm. but here we're seeing stuff pushed over to make an X. And people can say what they want, but you got trees going this way. You got trees going this way. You got dead trees that's up, that's not even pushed over and green trees laying on the ground mm -hmm. where something's pushed them. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's wild. It is, it's really wild. She was walking up this way. She found it's a random balloon on the property. Yeah. Shiny, remember we had the shiny stuff yeah. that would get missing on our property. Mm -hmm. And then just a random balloon. Yeah, we don't, we do see. And this string was like in several places. And this property has been on the land, they say, since the 1700s. They're the only ones here. They've never had that boy. Something to think about. Mm -hmm. You found your clothes out in the woods? I don't take off my clothes. leave them in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. You found silverware out here. Like, kind of covered up. It's like they barely make an attempt to cover yeah. it up. Mm. There are bowls in the Water bottle, I never took out of the house. It looks like faux wood. And it's like, I found it hidden by a tree. Like, never used it. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. You just hear like chatter. I don't know. The chatter? Yeah, I don't know what it is. They used to hear the whooping noises, chatters. What about like any other sounds? Like, we used to hear the wood knocking up dead anymore. Um, what else ever, do? Now they make weird noises. So. Y'all ever try to answer them back? Yeah, yeah, and they just answer back. Did y'all ever try answering back with knocks? Um, no. I would just make like, whoop, whoop. Like, I'll do that. Yeah. And I used to do it back. It doesn't anymore. But now they make other noises, like cat noises. But it's not a cat. Like imitating. Yeah. I want to So, scared. let me ask you this. Yeah. Is there any cows back this way? Way, way back. But they don't really run this far back. Okay. It sounds like something imitating a cow. I know. Like and that. that's exactly. Yeah. And it should be this close. And I was actually left y'all because I was looking for a dead cow. That's behind the Snyder's farm. It's so it's loud right there. there. It just seems really loud for them to be that far away. And that they cow's missing. Knocks, but I asked if they ever knocked the back, and she said no. There so. was a dead cow found back there, which shouldn't be back there, and it's missing. It's found a good deer out here, and it's missing the next day. Like, and I'm talking, these, I don't know how it's just go missing. There's no sign of it, no maggot, no fur, like nothing, no smell. Well, it's, not, it's not going to decay overnight, right. trust me. So. It's completely gone. Yeah. That's wild. We were noticing as we went in or come back out, all the main trails going in has trees across them. And it's not like something's come in, wind spun it around. They're actually X'd across or bridged across. And it's, you've got this one, the main trail up above it, the one over here. And it's like they've done stuff to keep the people from coming in. All these up through here have major trees across and blocking it. So we're going back here. Boys are back here. Hey, Dave. Something's going on. And then the dogs start going crazy right before we do it. And the jackass starts peeing on Yeah, yeah that's, that's strange. Very strange. Holy focus, Batman. We're getting into the spirit world with Bigfoot now. Stuff's already starting to call. She's cleansing right now with sage going around us. If you I've want got to get it. <laughs> this is about to get real.
So what we're going to do is um, a system I learned through Dr. Stephen Greer. He's a Charlotte native, lives up in Roanoke, Virginia now, or up that way. Um, that's close encounters of the fifth kind, contact. And often what happens is we cleanse, we set our intention, get into good headspace, and we ask for um, visitation. We invite um, any other dimensional beings with good intentions only um, to come into the space. And most often than not, they show up. Sometimes it may be in the forms of clicking around you. Sounds like somebody's tapping like metal rods all around us. Okay. Um, often there's, we'll see orbs in the tree lines come overhead. Usually they're golden, sometimes they're orange, amber. I've got recordings of beautiful rose colored orbs. Um, so we'll see what shows up tonight. All right. Right behind us. Right through the trees right there. The street light. Yeah. There's no one over there. Over there, I, I'm not so sure because I can see, I can see something kind of going on through the woods, but I don't know. Yeah. But I It was, you know, something knocked over there. I got that on camera. Yeah. So whether it picked it up or not, I don't know. Hey. And I had the camera going in that angle the whole time, so, you know. And I videoed a little bit of the sounds that they were putting off. So we can keep an eye up in the sky, anything. There could be orbs flying around us out here. It could call in something, but while we were sitting there, we heard a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff now. Like, the down this way, it sounded like grunts and yell, whoop, like, and movement. Back over here and behind you. Yeah, back down there. That would be where you were filming. That would have been to the side of the house, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And then we could hear, like, just movement and yells. and. <laughs> Y'all want to just make some knocks? Yeah. I left that. a dang bat. Oh. I'll go back and get Wait, it. Wait, Toby's might have a hit stick. Oh, that's perfect. Go for it, Toby. David, you got an answer, didn't you? Where's Paige? She, she's back there doing the four uh, thing. Oh, so just keep your eyes peeled. Hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I mean, the motorcycle went right out, but it was like a yell or a scream, if you will. Teeny tiny flashing white light in that direction. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I just yeah. caught it. You see it? Yeah. I caught it coming down. You did? Yeah. I caught it. Guys, there's something over there. Here, Vidi. Holy cow. Is it right there in that light? Area? Yes. The dog's in front of us. The dog's right here. It's right over here. Yeah, that's the dog. I don't know. Behind us. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 
big one. A mound? Yeah. Oh, shoot. That's crazy. Yep. I mean, we're, we're in the area. I mean, it's clearly here. something I haven't done yet. What's that? Give out a real yell. Okay. I'm gonna put my thing right here on my shirt. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Baby, which direction are you? <laughs> to your back left, I think. Can y'all see? Yeah, I've been seeing Ford down in here though. Oh, yeah. What's that? What's that? Toby. Toby. Yeah. Where are you at? Okay, I see you. All right, I'm going to give out a yell so everybody knows what's going on. Okay. There's a bunch of crazy stuff. <coughs> oh, yeah. Stuff. I mean, I'm just... Yeah, everywhere. yeah, everywhere through here. Woo! Woo! What? What? What is that? This is Bob the Lion. Oh, oh. 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 Right. Flashlight out. Oh my Flashlight god, did you get it? Huh? Oh. Flashlight out. I hate to cuss, but did you get that? I don't know. I have to go back and look at the footage. Okay. Well, right there was one. But there's no there's no road right there. Are you sure? Yeah, because that's because we come in over here. There is not. No. And they were side by side. Yeah. Holy crap. No, there's no road over there, no. honestly. The road is over here. Yeah, because that's the What house. happened now? There was two, two big, big balls. balls. <laughs> Coming down yeah. like that. Holy crap. Look, there's another one right here. Look. Oh, I see it. I think. It's coming to it. Yeah, right above the house. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They're telling the truth on that. Look at that. David, did you see him? Yes. Yeah, they were good. Big. Huge. It looked like to a sun in the. That's. Yeah, because when I first looked at it, I thought I was like. It looked like a car. Yeah. The trees. So did you get?
right? Yeah, Toby. Yes, Toby. Okay, I'm like, oh, I see stuff. Okay, we got a golden orb up here, and you had two ambers over there. That's awesome. Oh, there's all yeah. kinds of stuff happening in the woods. Oh, yeah. You got the halo around the moon. Where's that? That was crazy. Oh, yeah. Did y'all see those? We, we had a golden orb just right over the tree, oh, way up. That's so what it was then. So we I saw, saw this one over here there. walking in. So there was and two. I thought it was a star, but it's not because it's no longer there, and it was not an airplane. No. And, and then, then there we was had two, two of them right yeah. here. And Amber, you said. You saw yeah. Amber, too. Oh, yeah. Everybody Orange. got the same perception of color? Yeah. Look. Because at first I thought it was like a car, and that's what color your car lights would be on. That, that was cool. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. We need another one. Yeah. That was cool. Awesome. It was like up at the it, house. I mean, it, it did. It got but you saw this lot right here, here. and then two big balls of... It was like basketball size. Yeah, like right here. That was wild. Something pulled us out of the woods. Yeah, something pulled us out of the woods. Yeah. Okay. And usually so that's because they're coming I'm, I'm gonna go check we'll right get the bat. I'm going to go check right behind here for a second. That was cool. Yeah, there's something over there. 